Welcome back to round three. Uh, so the sound didn't work in round two because I have a headset that like the mic is uh, detachable and it wasn't all the way in. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But uh oh man. <laughs> so the stockpile is good. I don't think... I mean I really d want to keep this because I like these kind of cards so much. Oh, I want to keep this so much. But... Uh, two million. Well, th this is just better so... I guess it's good that I'm <laughs> mulligan. And it also has the Necromancer stockpile. Sweet, 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 sweet. I'd rather not discard the Reaver, but I guess I will if I have to. If I don't have a anything to devour flesh, I guess. Here's the sewer to save me from that predicament. Let's see, bottom or top? Top. That's nice. Boris did wow. well. I don't think I. I don't think I devour flesh that. I think he played like a token deck, kind of. He, I saw. He had Lavinia and some other cards. Uh, Lavinia is the Mace Runner, the Asurius Mace Runner. He also had Triplicate Spirits and I guess Raised Alarms probably. I would guess. So I'll discard that and draw land. No. No land. But uh, this, that's actually pretty good too, so... No, he might be able to attack, but... It's not... Yeah, he, he might be able to attack, but... Uh, and this... I'm not sure if this triggers, I don't think so. Hall of Triumph, so he can attack. Oh, that's annoying. That's too bad. See what he puts on. <laughs> the Lavinia would be gross, to say the least. <laughs> oh, Brimas. Oh, that's not. That's not too good either. <laughs> Preeminent captain deck. Well, so I could play the Linianus Reaver, which I think I am going to. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, it has death touch, so yeah. The question is if I, I think I keep this back to block the Boros Elite. Or the the two two. So Lavinia here is probably game over. Mm, full out. I like that attack. I mean, it's a good choice, in my opinion. Okay, so let's see what he gets. Yeah, <laughs> oh god. Uh, GG. Uh, 
We've got a pretty awesome deck here. I have to say. So, ultimate price is obviously great. Here the sewer, sewer chambers are very poor. And I think I might want to drown this world. And I guess take out something. These are pretty great and good at like making trades better. Dodge Scrivener's dies to drones and sorrow. Ah, okay. This might work out. I don't think the crypt incursion is good. Gaining life isn't relevant against most decks. Even though it's an aggro deck. I only basically want it against burn. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's good against that even. <coughs> but that was a... Uh, <laughs> I think that was a fairly explosive draw from him, him too. Like uh, getting the Brimas into Lavinia. Yeah. Also having the Hall of Triumph to... So I can't uh, block. I mean, he won on turn 5, I think. That's pretty fast. Yes. Uh, I guess I keep this. And I can run out the slither head. I mean, it's nothing great, but it can trade, possibly trade with uh, something. And then I can scavenge it. Yeah, see. Uh, do I keep it back? No. Right. Uh, maybe I do. Mm, no. Some water. Oh, oh I can't attack. Let's see. Let's devour flesh. He's gonna sack the elite, of course, but. No, he's not gonna sack the elite. That's okay. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna block here. Because next turn I can make it into a. pretty big guy. Let's hope he doesn't have uh, anything that can pump his team. Uh, do I attack? No. Even though I can hit for 6. Uh, yeah, maybe I should have. don't think so, though. Uh, Obelisk of Erd. Oh, oh my god. If it is that, I think it's over. If it's Triplica Spirits, it's bad, but not... The worst, I guess. Oh. Well, the Wower Flash is <laughs> crazy bad this game. Oh, yeah. I keep him back. There's no way I'm attacking here. And now we can attack with like Borsalite and those three. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That drone is always still a live draw, I guess. Uh, but I'm. Mm, let's see what I'm. What am I blocking? Uh, I guess I'll devour flesh on him. So one, two, three. I think I'm just blocking a soldier here. Seven. Nine. Yeah, it's basically drowning sorrow. 
or bust here. I think. Let's see how much I gain. It's not count. <laughs> so eight. Yeah. GG's. So I had two draws that could get me out of that. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, the very cool deck. I like losing against cool decks. I guess I like winning against them more, but still. Uh, ultimate price. Okay. Well, yeah, that was that player element. Uh, yeah. See you next time tomorrow. Uh, as I said, I'm hosting a Herdom tournament at 3 p.m. the gathering time. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm very bad at time zones, but <laughs> I guess it's somewhere in the US, it's 3pm, it's not 3pm where I am, but uh, anyways, so I'm hosting that, uh, it's likely just, it's uh, Swiss followed by top 4 or 8, depending on how many people we are, uh, usually it's 3 rounds with top 4, we usually get around 10 to 16 people so Herdom is a, it's a pretty fun format you can check the gathering.com check for deck lists they are really cheap to build and uh, uh, yeah, you can message me if you want to test some decks or whatever but yeah. thanks for watching and uh, see you next time